the evolution of the European Union from the, you know, the European Economic Area originally to the EEC and then the development of the various treaties. The European Union is a huge project and I think that we, sometimes we underestimate or we, we fail to understand the complexities and the difficulties of bringing together 27 European nations, each of whom have, the, which have their own sovereignty, have their own history, etc. And I, it's, it's a remarkable achievement what has been done, what has been achieved over the last 20 to 30 years. The ending of the Iron Curtain, for example, bringing in the Eastern European countries, now looking at the Baltic countries. And probably the most important aspect, apart from the economic aspects, is the actual peace and stability throughout the European continent. When you look at what happened in the 20th century in Europe, the battleground of two horrific world wars, and the guarantee that for the future, all of those European nations will be working together, not only to secure peace in Europe, but to work for peace and stability in other parts of the world. And we have a much stronger voice in doing that as a European Union than we would have as individual countries. The older generation would have um, had memories of World War II in particular. And even, you know, I have to say a child of the 50s, but World War II would still have been a very dominant part of our early education and the memory of World War II uh, and the consequences of it. Uh, so that would have dominated a lot of the political thinking in the 1950s and 60s, right up to the 70s. But I think the young people who don't have those memories should just reflect on situations like the Balkans, for example, which happened just, you know, 10, 12 years ago and the slaughter that happened right throughout the Balkan countries. And they are the sort of situations that we want to ensure never happen again. And at that time, I think it's worth saying that I think the European Union was quite powerless to intervene or to stop war in the Balkans. Whereas nowadays, I believe that the European Union, as now formulated, would be in a far stronger position to take action, to ensure that we don't have to witness the type of events that happened right throughout the Balkan countries for a great part of the 1990s. We should be very enthusiastic Europeans. I think as long as we are actively and supportive of the European Union, we have a role to play in world politics. I think our future is very much tied to the development of the European Union. Uh, we shouldn't underestimate the difficulties and the skills required to make sure that the European Union can function as a major bloc in world politics. And that's what we're setting out to achieve. It guarantees, on the one hand, it guarantees peace and stability on the continent of Europe. And with that peace and stability, we're in a position to work for peace and stability on a global basis.